Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Channeled message reading. So you have the Four of Wands. Tell us about this Four of Wands. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Tell us about this Four of Wands. Let me see here. Page of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Four of Wands is a card that represents redemption, celebration, success, happy homes, happy unions. Um, I'm hearing that things are about to start picking up for you, like the pace is about to pick up. So for those of you who have felt, you know, like things have been quite slow moving or stagnant in your life, don't worry. If this message is for you, I feel like the pace is going to pick up. But you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a blessing of prosperity, okay? I feel like, um, I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, oh my gosh, Ten of Pentacles, something with your finances, there's going to be a financial increase. And I see you living a very, like, stable, secure, and comfortable life. Money will not be a problem for you. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is all about lump sums of money, generational wealth, and business empires, um, wealthy families. Look at this. The sun. Wow. Your happiness, your fulfillment, your growth, your expansion. The sun card could also represent the birth of a child. Wow. I feel like you're, you're stepping into your season of financial prosperity and that was the nine of pentacles that almost came out which represents all of these pentacles and look at the yellow yellow represents or symbolizes success the nine of pentacles it's a person who is very independent very successful very well accomplished look at one person surrounded by all of these nine pentacles like can you imagine can you imagine? You're really stepping into a season where you're going to have more than enough. You will have financial abundance. Money will really not be a concern for you. And perhaps this is your, uh, your, your blessing. This is your spiritual blessing that's manifesting into the physical realm as material abundance. Um, I just see you living an extremely comfortable life. You know, not having to worry, not having to live paycheck to paycheck, being able to afford what you want. Um, next, let's look at this Page of Swords here, okay? The Page of Swords represents delays or delayed news. Um, hmm. It just looks like... Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Swords, delayed news, or it could represent curiosity as well. Let's go ahead and clarify it. Page of Swords paired with the Queen of Pentacles. is something, uh, like I said, maybe you've been feeling stagnant for some time. Yeah, you've been feeling stagnant. Like you've been feeling like things are slow moving. Maybe you've, you've even been feeling delays and you were very dissatisfied, unfulfilled because of that. But now, now though, this, this financial blessing is gonna be delivered. You're gonna have it in your hands. That's why the Page of Swords came out with the Queen of Pentacles. Look at her looking down at her pentacles. Wow. It looks like this is the season where everything is really flowing into your life. Um, so be open to receiving these blessings. Um, clarify the Page of Swords. See if there's anything else with this Page of Swords. Yeah, 
I feel like there is a reason why there were delays, okay? Remember, everything happens in God's timing, okay? So maybe there were delays because God was clearing the pathway for you. Maybe you had enemies trying to sabotage you or put blocks around you. Maybe there were delays because during that period of delay, you were given time. You were given time to heal, rest, recover, reflect, you know, look into things, make discoveries. Your season of delay was really your season of preparation. That's how I want you to see it. You didn't miss out on anything. Your blessings are still there. Your blessing still stands and it's coming towards you. And you'll be able to actually touch it and feel it. This blessing, like I said earlier, it's manifesting into the physical realm as material abundance. So you'll be able to touch it, feel it, hold it. Um, let's look at the Queen of Wands. You have the World card. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. You have the King of Wands. Let's look at the King of Wands. So God is surely clearing the path for you this season because this is the time that the blessing is meant to come in. Um, so anyone who is standing in your way, they're not going to be able to do that anymore. They're being removed. All obstacles are being removed from your path, and that includes people who want to be an obstacle in your way. Uh, but the Queen of Wands, I mean, she's a warrior, a conqueror. She's sitting on her throne confidently, legs crossed. She knows nobody's going to remove her. I feel like you've just come out of a battle, but you, you know, you were really redeemed and you were the victor of that battle. Um, when you see the Queen of Wands, you know, the King and Queen of Wands, they are masters. Like they have mastered a certain specialty or expertise and or craft. And the Queen of Wands, the King and Queen of Wands are all about warfare. Okay, so uh, I feel like you can rest now. You can relax and clean yourself up, you know, um, and just renew the mind and the, and the spirit so that you can be in a, in a good state of mind when you do receive this blessing. Um, I don't want you to enter this new beginning of your life still thinking and acting like you're on the battlefield because I feel like it's over that that battle is over the world represents a successful completion that leads you to your desirable outcome and you have the king of wands the king of wands man this was the person who was battling you okay whenever I'm starting to see the cards differently moving forward as a reader Okay, whenever I see a pair come out as a king and queen of wands, they are rivals. There's tension. There's conflict between the two of them. Whenever I see the king of cups, queen of cups, there's love. There's an emotional bond. Whether it's platonic love, family love, romantic love, there is a bond, an emotional bond between the two of them. When I see the King and Queen of Wands, there's tension, conflict between the two of them. And when I see the King and Queen of Swords, these are two people who are using their mind. The, the King and Queen of Swords have intellectual power. So they could be two professionals, two co-workers, advisors. Um, but when I see, what's the other pair? When I see the king and queen of pentacles, I'll say that they are, they have some sort of uh, commitment, obligation to each other, okay? Whether it's a romantic commitment or a business commitment, um, there's a commitment with that pentacle, okay? That's how I'm going to start seeing the cards moving forward. Um, to ensure that I'm reading the cards accurately. Um, because this King of Wands has been showing up in lots of previous readings. This is not a lover. Your lover wouldn't be like this with their fist balled up. 
okay, with their fists balled up. Um, this King of Wands was rivaling, they were rivaling you. Like there was conflict between the two of you that I feel has now ended. They were trying to control you with the devil. They were trying, with the devil, they were trying to negatively influence you or your, your connection with another person. Let's clarify this King of Wands. Yeah, look at this, the Emperor. Clarify the King of Wands. Page of Cups. Hmm. This could be someone who you have a child with or this King of Wands had a problem with you and an emperor. The emperor is like a father. Okay? The emperor is a father or father figure. I'll clarify this emperor. That's exactly, yeah, the Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. I feel like this King of Wands was competing, fighting with you, and trying to negatively influence a connection, a bond that you have with an emperor. Yeah. The Ace of Swords representing the truth and clarity. The Page of Cups, I wonder if there's a child involved between you and this emperor, or maybe the two of you are meant to have a child in the future. But for some reason, this King of Wands was trying to negatively influence, or you could be the child to this emperor. For some reason, I keep on getting child with the Page of Cups, and the pages are young people. They are children, pages are children. And then you have the knights who would be like young adults. <sighs> um, but yeah, like this emperor, this could be his child. Who's this page of cups? You could be the child to this emperor. Or maybe you're meant, maybe you have a child with this emperor. Or you, or you will have a child with this emperor. But this king of wands had a problem with you. Absolutely. Had a problem with your connection with this emperor. And I feel he was trying, I feel like this king of wands was trying to keep you and this emperor apart. So this emperor could be your lover, husband, father of your children or future children. Or this could be your father who's the emperor. It could be a family situation. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like he definitely wanted to keep, he wanted to negatively influence your connections with this emperor. And you know what irritated this man is that you're going to get a queen of, like you're going to get a queen of, um, you're going to have money. You're going to receive a financial blessing. You're here as a queen of pentacles. I feel like he was trying to also stop your finances. He was, huh? Eight of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. He was. He actually wanted to push you away. He may have wanted wanted to chase you out of somewhere or run you run you out, get you out of somewhere. The Eight of Cups is when you pack your bags and leave. Because if you leave, then you'll miss out. If you leave, then you'll miss out on this financial blessing. Wow. And look, you're showing up as the Knight of Cups. Like there's something about you. Maybe you just carry a youthful energy or you're young at age. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this King of Wands was trying to... Um, What's the word like like um, bully you? I see some bullying, tormenting, whether it was done in a direct or indirect way, but he was trying to create a hostile environment for you. 
He was trying to create a hostile environment for you so that you can leave from leave something behind. You'll just give up and walk away and forfeit what is yours so that he can claim it or so that you won't get what's yours. Something about him trying to torment you, bully you, frustrate you so that you can leave. Something like that with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, like drive you out, like chase you away, you know, get you out of somewhere. The Knight of Swords represents someone who could be like mean-spirited, aggressive, military-like. Make you uncomfortable so that you'll leave. Because if you leave, you won't be there to receive your blessings. This is absolutely someone who... <sighs> Ten of Cups is here. Like, this could be anyone. This could be a family member. Like, Ten of Cups is a big family card. Or a home. A home card. So... Maybe they wanted to drive you out of your home or your community, your area, get you out of there because that's going to be the same place that you receive this blessing. I definitely see Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. They wanted to devastate you. Like they wanted to make you uncomfortable, create a hostile environment so that you can get uncomfortable and go. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, there's something here about where you live. The area, the community, the neighborhood, they wanted to do this to you, Eight of Swords. Make you feel so uncomfortable that you pack your bags and leave. Because there's something about the location, wherever you, you currently are at, that's where you're going to hear about this news, about your financial blessing. That's the same location or area that this blessing's coming towards you. Wow. Yeah, that's what it is. So if you leave and this blessing comes in, you're going to miss it. Yeah, you're going to miss it. Yeah, you're going to miss it. Eight of Wands. And I feel like you have communication coming in. Eight of Wands is a big communication card. It also represents something that's very, like something that's right around the corner and it's headed towards you. Wow. They were trying to make your home uncomfortable, difficult. They were the ones behind it with the King of Wands. They were the ones behind it. Look, Five of Wands, the drama, conflict, yeah, competition maybe even. They were the ones behind it. They were being paid. I feel like this person could have even paid someone to help them. Like someone around you was getting paid to make you uncomfortable. Tell us about that, Holy Spirit. Yeah, someone around you. King of Swords was getting paid. Who's this King of Swords? So we have a King of Swords. That's how this person's connected to you. I don't feel like this is someone who you have a personal bond or connection with. I don't feel like this is someone who you're currently romantic romantic with. King of Swords, like I said, when I see the King and Queen of Swords, they're either like, um, like uh what's the word like work partners or someone who you go to for like advice counseling someone who you go to not advice and counseling but someone who you go to for like wisdom knowledge or the king of swords could represent a professional this could have been an employee king of swords wow look at the lovers look at the lovers they paid a king of swords. These are the people who you would see in their suit and tie or uniform. Professionals. A hard worker. Someone who's very intelligent, analytical. Hmm. Clarify this king of swords. The magician. Oh, 
but the lovers is here. So I wonder if this King of Swords ended up changing their mind and didn't do what they were paid to do because they felt a soulmate bond with you. The lovers is here. This King of Wands was very strategic in paying. He was very strategic in choosing the people who he was going to pay to sabotage you. These are people who are stationed around you, people who you see in your day in your day to day life. OK. Um, look at the magician. I, I think something ended up happening here where. The magician represents willpower or manifestation. I feel like this king of swords ended up feel, feeling some sort of soulmate bond with you and not doing what he was asked and paid to do. It's like he flipped the script on this king of wands. Tell us about this king of swords. Clarify this king of, tell us about this king of swords, spirit. Yeah, he felt guilty, ten of wands. He, he just didn't want to, what I, I, I heard spy. He was being paid to spy on you. Spy on you, gather information about you. And I feel like the ten of wands, the guilt just settled in and he just didn't want to do it anymore. He felt uncomfortable doing it. Ten of Wands is burdens and stress. Wow. King of Pentacles. I feel like he received a big payout to do this. So this King of Wands knows how to tempt people, how to manipulate people, seduce people into doing what he wants them to do. He uses money. He'll offer people money to do these things to you. But King of Pentacles. I feel like this man had a difficult, this King of Swords had a difficult time working against you. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Hierophant. The king of pentacles is this king of wands. So to you, they are king of wands. But to this professional here, they are king of pentacles, a man who was offering them money. But to you, you know that this person is your king of wands, a rival, someone who is rivaling you. Someone who is fighting with you, competing with you, like an enemy. But to this king of swords, he's not going to see this man as a king of wands. They're not fighting. This man is not fighting him. This man is paying him. Mm, see, I've unlocked another way to read the cards. And I feel like this is the right way. <laughs> um, he's going to see... This King of Swords is going to see him as the man who's paying me money, the man who has power and influence, the Hierophant. The Hierophant, the man who has, like this could be a man who's powerful, influential, suit and tie maybe. But I feel like this King of Swords ended up feeling really bad because he felt some sort of soulmate connection with you not one that is romantic this is not a king of cups it is a king of swords but i feel like there was a good bond casual bond that you had with this king of swords and he felt really guilty for what he was doing to you what he was being paid to do clarify the king of wands the star Clarify that. Did I say King of Wands? I meant King of Swords. 
Tell us more about this King of Swords. Maybe he is an Aquarius. Maybe he has a strong air sign. Doesn't have to. Tell us about this King of Swords. Knight of Wands. This King of Swords isn't innocent. As much as they felt guilty, I feel like they were still taking the money and working against you. They were. They sacrificed you. The hangman, a sacrifice. Yeah, they did. They took the money and they did it anyways. The nine of wands. They put you in this. They, they, they caused you difficulties. They put obstacles in your way. You were challenged. They took action against you. Knight of Wands is a big action card, right? Notice how King of Swords is showing up as the Knight of Wands. It's the action that he took against you instructed by this King of Wands. So this King of Swords wasn't just sitting there plotting, thinking. He was actually taking action against you. He was doing things. And you know what? We're going to let God deal with him. This king of swords, absolutely. Because you still get your wish fulfillment, the star. <laughs> the star, wish fulfillment. Um, so, all in all, redemption is yours, okay? All in all, you get your passionate new beginning that you fought for with the Ace of Wands. You battled this out. You fought for it. You battled, look, Six of Wands, victory. You're the victor. This new beginning, you more than 100% deserve it because you went through hell for it. Okay, you went through hell for it and you fought for it. So it's only right for you to receive this passionate new beginning. And you will, because it is your justice getting what you deserve. And this passionate new beginning is exactly what you deserve. So that's what I'm seeing for you, okay? Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the message, the reading. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.